Hi and a very warm welcome to yet another tutorial of easy video series. This is our lecture 3 in the series of LaTeX and here we are going to see basic text sections and subsections in LaTeX. Let me clear that for you. Section, subsections. Okay. Coming to the example directly, if you are following the video, you always know that we begin our document class with article and a begin document that follows the end document. Everything between these three is the content which is compiled. So now this basically our document if you have seen the textbooks and all they are divided into section, subsection and sub subsection. These are the three hierarchies in which the document is divided. Okay so let me just compile it and then we can observe what happens with section, subsection and sub subsection. So just I am using text studio. Click on this button. Okay so now you see the output of it. So this was our section. Section title goes here. You can give any section title name here. Okay. So you can see this. With usage of section, you open the curly brace. So let me do this again for you. I write a section and give it the title as my section. Okay. So name of the section is my section. And this is section. And followed by subsection, let me just give it my subsection is here. Sorry, Anna. subsection. So just let us compile it and just check the output of it. So let me bring it here only. So now you can see you have section, my section. So see you get the number 1 automatically. So this numbering is done automatically by LaTeX and that is the beauty of LaTeX. You did not specify anywhere 1 here in this line. Yeah, I don't give it a 1 or a 2 or something like that. LaTeX handles the numbering automatically. Okay. So it automatically sees okay the document begins here. This is the first section. So it automatically names it as section 1. So my section, so you just see the font of my section. Okay, it is a bit larger and bold. So LaTeX makes this formatting also automatically because it says that we are using the article class. Now if you see a particular section may have subsections. Like if I have a section name as food, I may keep a subsection as vegetables, fruits and those things. So now you see the second is subsection. Now remember one thing. The slash section basically anything that begins with a backslash is a command in LaTeX, is an environment in LaTeX. Okay, so slash section means something very special to LaTeX. So when you compile it, sees okay, this is a section. So I must name it and I must give it a title. So the title is specified within curly braces. This cannot be a square bracket. Okay, this has to be in curly braces. Okay, then we have the subsection. My subsection is here. Now you see my subsection is here is within the like section name uh, number was 1 and subsection is 1.1 because this subsection is a part of this section. So 1 was the main section and 1.1 is the subsection. So now let us add another subsection. I just copy the text, paste it. My subsection my new subsection let us name it like this let us just compile it once again now if you see the subsection is my new subsection is here so the number is automatically taken as 1.2 because this subsection comes below this subsection so this was the first subsection this was the next subsection so as you see i never specified the numbers here latex automatically does it for you okay then Another level of nesting is the sub subsection. So if you see this sub subsection is a section under subsection. So when you see the output, it is 1.2.1 because it is sub of the subsection. So this subsection was number 1.2 and we have sub subsection. So this was 1.2.1. That is. So in this way you can have any ordering. So let's say you want to begin a new section. You just copy this part my new section 
so the new section will be numbered 2 okay so let us compile this see 2 my new section okay so in this way you can add and delete sections and subsections and subsections okay thank you for watching have a good day please do subscribe